What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your ninth Java Advanced Tutorial. I think it's the ninth. Um, anyways, whatever it is, I think it's the ninth. Uh, so yeah, welcome back and today we're going to be learning a really big topic and this topic is on file I.O. So in this tutorial I'm not actually going to be teaching you guys about the input-output aspects of file. Um, by input output I mean reading and writing the files. I'm just going to be teaching you guys how to actually create a file um, by programmatically, I don't know if that's a word, but make a program to create a file within Java. Um, so yeah, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to declare a file object. So in Java, like a lot of other things, they have predefined classes that make it easier for us to um, do certain things. So in this case, they have a file class already pre-made for us, and we just create an object, and it creates a file for us. So this class is um, coincidentally called file. So let's name our file, I don't know, file, happy file. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty happy right now. Um, done school and everything, so everything's good. And so we're going to set it equal to new file. And let's see, what should we call it? Oh, happy file.txt. So, oh, I shouldn't just like do that right away. Anyways, so we created a file and we named it happy file. The object is called happy file. Within the parameters, we're going to have one parameter that takes a string. And this is basically what we want to create, like what name our file should take. So let's call ours happy file.txt. And as you can see, we still get an error. So let's just click on the orb. And it tells me to import java.io.file. Just add that. You could have added that manually, but NetBeans takes care of it for you. So right now, we have created a file object that basically says that we want to create a file called happy file.txt within our YouTube tutorials um, project. So right now we should do some error catching. We should make sure that this file is not already created for us. Um, because what if this happy file.txt just happened to be like a crucial system file and we just overwrote it? Uh, that would not turn out very good. So first thing we got to do is make an if statement. In the if statement we're going to check to see if happy file is already created. So if happy file dot exists, so there's already a function in here, dot exists is equal to false, then we're going to want to create our file. So we do this by going happy file dot create new file just like that. And as you can see, we get a little error here and it says unreported exception. Basically, we have to either surround this little chunk of code with a try catch block, or we could add something called a throws clause. Now, you guys know what a try catch block is, though that's a lot of stuff. You could surround it with that, or we could add a throws clause, which basically says um, right up here beside the, beside the method parameters, it says, okay, in this function somewhere, there is a piece of code, which is this happy file dot create new file, a piece of code that may cause an error. So I'm just going to tell you that right now before we compile. And yeah, so that's basically why we have to put throws IO exception. There could be an error when creating the file, say the program, say Windows crashes. So we have to tell the compiler that we have to um, watch out for that basically. Anyways, so what if it's already created? Then we could just make an else statement saying so the file already exists. Um, down here we'll just say so the file has been created make sure I haven't already created one because I was messing around with this before I actually made this video. So now if we run this program, run it, it says the file has been created. So this means that 
our code is executed perfectly and a happy file.txt should be located within our projects folder. So if we navigate from documents and then into NetBeans projects and everything, or wherever your you wherever your um Java projects are located, you should find within your project you have a file called happy file.txt or whatever you named your file. So yeah, we created one and now I'm just gonna teach you guys a couple more things. Um, what if we wanted to create this file on our C drive, the root of our C drive? And when I say the root of the C drive, if you go to your orb, go to computer, and then go to your local disk, um, what if we wanted to create it right here, somewhere uh, amongst these folders? Well, there's a really easy way of doing this in Java. All you have to do is when you create your happy file.txt, you just put a forward slash in front of your um, file name. And basically this tells the compiler, okay, I want to put this at the root of our file system. So if we save this now and we run it in our C drive, we should have, there we go, happy file.txt right at the bottom of our C drive. And now if we wanted to pick a specific location in our um, computer, so let's say we wanted to be in our C drive and then I wanted to put it into Windows. Um, no, that's probably a bad example. We might get in trouble for doing that. It might tell us we don't have permission or something. Let's say we want to put it in this UDK um, folder. So the way we would do that, we would go C, capital C, colon, slash, UDK, slash, then our happy file.txt extension. Um, if we run it again, the file has been created successfully. And inside our computer, C colon, and then our UDK, there's a happy file.txt in there now. So this is just a quick overview of how to create files and how to create them in specific file directories. Um, I hope you guys um, understood this tutorial. And if you guys have any questions, like always, just make sure you comment in the section below or send me an email or whatever. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching and have a good day. See you.